right, today I'm going to show you how to make some coasters. They make a really neat gift, either uh, for Christmas or a teacher's gift, or even just for you to have at home. The first thing you want to do is start off with some paper that you like. I, I think I got this on clearance, but it was just this bulk kind of paper. Any kind of paper pretty much will do. Find a pattern that you like. Here's a couple, um, the, or a few that are in this packet here. There's this color and this one, and this one is more, more textured. So just pick a, a paper that you like. Um, I'm gonna actually go with this one today. I have some already made from this and I need some replacement coasters, so I'm gonna use this paper. The other thing that you want is um, to have a felt piece. You're really only gonna need one felt piece. You'll cut this one into four, and then you want to make sure that um, you get some Mod Podge, um, some clear acrylic spray, uh, just regular glue, um, a brush, and then these are the tiles that you're going to use for the coasters. And I got mine at Home Depot. They're only 16 cents each, so a really good deal. And like I said, it makes a really nice gift. It's a little bit of an investment to, investment to get um, some of the supplies, but to make the coasters is really inexpensive. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and cut up my paper. I actually cut them into four by four pieces. And I cut, even though I'm using this one, I cut the others so that you could see kind of um, how they would look. So this is the one I'm going with. And then um, this is the other one. And then this one be, would definitely be more vibrant, okay? And, um, the thing about it is I cut all the different pieces and so now I get to choose which ones I actually, because I do vary a little bit, so I get to choose which one I would like to, to use. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move these aside and then I'm gonna brush, I poured my Mod Podge into the to a cup and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna brush a layer on and making sure that I get it all the way across, covering the whole thing, okay? And then once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and lay the piece that I choose on there. So let's see. Um, I'm not going to think real hard about this. Uh, that was pretty colorful. I'm just going to try that one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set it on there. And I'm going to go around the edges to make sure that it gets on there. And make sure I've got it placed evenly. Okay, and now I'm gonna let it dry. Once it's on here, I'm gonna let it dry for 15 or 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and add another coat. Okay, so I actually decided to go ahead and do the burgundy color, red color. Um, my bedroom is this color, so I decided since I had the extra coasters, I might as well go ahead and do those. But it's already been out for 15 minutes, been drying for 15 minutes, and I'm ready to go ahead and put my next coat on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing and put another coat on it. Um, the one thing when you're doing the first coat is you wanna make sure that it's not bubbling up on you. Just kind of go back and, and press it down. And um, you can even lift it up before it's dried to get it on there evenly. But just go back and make sure. Now it's gonna feel dry, um, but it's just the paper that's kind of dry. Around the edges are still a little bit wet. So be careful. You can still kind of push it down if you see something that's, that's sticking up and then just go ahead and go through and do the rest. And make sure you put a pretty good layer. This is gonna be the last layer. Now this um, Mod Podge is really just a thick glue. So you could use um, regular glue. It's just, it won't be as, as strong. And this also is supposed to have a, like a gloss to it. So go ahead and go through and do the rest of them. Make sure they're sticking on there correctly, like I can see this one kind of pushing up, so I'm just gonna push it down and then just go back through. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. Okay, so I finished putting my second layer of Mod Podge on there, and I'm gonna go ahead and let my coasters dry now. The Mod Podge says 15 to 20 minutes for drying, but since I put a thicker coat and um, before I spray the acrylic, I wanna make sure that it's completely dry. So I'm gonna let it sit for more like an hour, and then um, I'll check maybe halfway through if I feel like I need another layer of, of coating, then I'll go ahead and do that. But for the most part, I should just be able to let it dry and then put the acrylic on. Okay, so it's been an hour. I went ahead and put the rest of my Mod Podge back in the bottle and rinsed out my brush. And now I'm ready to go ahead and spray the acrylic spray. I moved the other coasters off of the mat so that I don't spray them all at the same time. I wanna spray them evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a coat on there. Okay, 
and then I'll move that to the side and then I'll do another one. Okay, and I'm just gonna go through and finish the rest of the coasters and then I'm gonna let it dry for at least another hour before I put the felt on the back. Okay, so my coasters have been drying for an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the um, felt pieces on the back now and I'm going to use the brown for the brown ones and the black for the red ones. So whatever color you choose is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over and there's two different ways to apply the glue. One, you could just go ahead and use it from the bottle. I'm using the regular glue for this. You can just use the regular glue and go like this and spread it and then put the piece on. But I'm actually going to brush it on because I wanna make sure that I get it all over. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just spread that on pretty thick. <clears throat> And then once I've got it completely covered, I'm gonna go ahead and put the felt piece on. I mean, if you find it, I mean, you could try it both ways. If you find the other way easier, that's good too. All right, so I've got all the glue on and I'm gonna go ahead and I cut the felt pieces same size as I cut the paper. It's the four by four. So, and you wanna make sure you have some really sharp scissors when you're cutting that. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that on there and I'm just gonna press it down so that it stays on really well. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the next piece and I'll show you, I'll go ahead and try it with this one. And so I'll go ahead and just go all the way around. It's faster, um, but you have that middle area that may not quite catch. Okay, so just kind of spread it all over and then it kind of oozes out too. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just brush it out with the with the brush. Okay, and then go ahead and put, I'm going to put the black piece on this one. All right, so now that I've got this done, I'm going to go ahead and let, I'll uh, finish up and let them dry. And I'm going to let them dry again for quite a while, probably another hour before I um, come back and show you the next part of it. Okay, so after I put, put the felt pieces on the bottom, I went ahead and let it um, sit for an hour. You'd probably wanna go ahead and let it sit overnight, but I wanna show you how to go ahead and wrap these up for a gift. So you can use, um, go ahead and stack them in four, and then you can go ahead and use um, just some type of ribbon. There's this kind of ribbon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the regular ribbon. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and lay it, kind of fold it in half, and then lay it in the center and then go ahead and hold that and then turn it upside down making sure that your ribbon is um, straight and then you're going to give it a twist hold it in place turn it back over and then you want to go ahead and run the ribbon underneath okay and then once you have it underneath You're just going to um, tie a bow or something fancy on top to make it look like a nice little gift. Now with the other ribbon, you could go ahead and make the ends kind of curly or something fancy, but with this, it's just gonna look um, nice like this. Let the ribbon hang. You could trim it a little bit if you find that it's too long um, or uneven. Okay, so then this is ready to go as a gift. I would go ahead and, like I said, let it sit out for overnight so that it's not too sticky. You don't want them sticking together, but you've got a fancy little coaster gift ready to go.